We're in Grand Valley. I'm Matt LeVere, and I'm doing a Snapchat takeover today for Grand Valley State University. I graduated in 2010 with a major in photography, minor in small business. So today I'm going to kind of give you a day in the life of what it's like to be a Laker. Also, if you have any questions throughout the day, please feel free to ask me. I'll try and get to them as best as I can uh, throughout the day. It's going to kind of be a little bit of a busy day today, but I'll get to it. So today what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to photograph for the North American International Auto Show. Kind of exciting, kind of a big deal in Detroit. Today though I'm working for a British publication uh, called Car Design News. I shot for them last year and um, today I got to do a series of portraits uh, for the next three days. And typically I would know who I'm photographing. I have no idea who I'm photographing today. Uh, the client's going to be there though so I'll be able to get some directions from him. So because I don't know who I'm photographing, I have to bring everything with me, and this isn't even everything. So many of you are probably already going to ask, but I am a Canon shooter. Uh, I'm not necessarily brand loyal, I just kind of stuck with it. The main thing to keep in mind is that I have two camera bodies. You never know when something's uh, going to break or let you down, so I have backups for almost everything. Also, as I warm up my car here and load up my equipment, can we just say that it's just way too cold out? I don't have time for that. So I got my morning workout in. This light stand case weighs about 50 pounds. So does that. And that's about 35. So now we're bundled up and loaded in. My assistant showed up. His name's Mike. Mike, say hi to Grand Valley State University. Hey, how's it going? All right, nice. We're about to get some breakfast. Also, do not Snapchat and drive today on the way to Grand Valley, uh, whether it's downtown or Allendale on Lake Michigan Drive. It's not worth it. Can't start your day without coffee, even though it's Starbucks. It'll do. It'll do. Mike, what did you end up getting? I got egg and cheddar. Nice. I got the sausage, egg and cheddar, eventually flat white. Amazing. All right, so right now, uh, as Mike is recording me, because that's the safe thing to do, uh, we're trying to find parking. It's way too crazy down here right now, way too crazy. So, uh, while I'm trying to find a parking spot here, uh, I grew up in Livonia, Michigan. I currently live in Royal Oak. Uh, I traveled last year 50,000 sky miles. So Mike and I finally found a garage to make him take my cases. That's what an assistant does, right? And uh, we're on our way to Kobo. For those of you who've never been to Detroit, this is the Guardian building. And uh, a lot of Art Deco, it's really cool on the inside. If you ever have a chance to come to Detroit, check it out. Kobo Hall for the auto show! And it's so cold in the D. It's so cold. So pro tip for any travelers, photographers, creatives, get all of your cases on wheels. <laughs> so I got my start in 2011 freelancing. Uh, for other photographers in the area and New York and LA and I worked as a photo assistant during that So it's about 8.23 right now. I'm just waiting for my client to show up. We're here extra early uh, As you can see the parking is kind of ridiculous here this morning here at the auto show and there's a fellow alum, Morgan Anderson, great <laughs> photographer in Chicago. So Mike and I are patiently waiting for the uh, subject to wrap up his one interview. And we're going to photograph it.
So I'm waiting for the interviewee to be finished up here at the Buick booth, but what's that? There's snacks. So yeah, fun little fact, if you want to work in the automotive industry, um, designer, engineer, this is definitely the place you want to be. See if you can get a press pass. Time to get caffeinated. Been running around since 6.30 a.m. Still got some time. What a better way to pair coffee than with an affogato, espresso, and ice cream. Treat yourself. Probably one of the most expensive booths here. Lots of Mercedes, Mercedes, Cadillac, BMW. Are you supposed to be working? I'm just kidding, man. We worked hard today. Uh, so we just uh, wrapped our photo shoot, and I think we're going to actually take a look at some of the cars. So if you're a Volkswagen fan, they have a pretty impressive boot this year, taking up one whole half of the building. All right. Finally made our way over to the Ford booth with one of the most coveted. Well... There she is, a little Ford GT. No big deal, no big deal. So Billy at Grand Valley State University, a current photo student, asked me a really good question. Um, how long did it take to establish myself as a photographer? It took me about five to six years to fully get established. Uh, and then after that, I am still feel like I'm getting my own start. I really haven't been photographing on my own too long. Regardless of the major, you really have to put in a lot of hard work. You have to pay your dues. Um, I lifted cases, got coffee, anything I could do to get a break in the industry. For all the Mustang fans, pretty sure if you come to Detroit, you'll get your fix. Totally overlooked a key detail. Roush Performance Mustang. Shout out to Livonia. FCA Group really outdid themselves. They probably have one of the largest booths here. Shout out to Jeep for someone who was asking to see Jeep earlier. 
Jeeps on Jeeps on Jeeps on Jeeps on Jeeps on Jeeps and a Fiat. Holy moly. There's a lot of nice cars here that we'd all like to have. Hey, it's the Michelin Man. What up? So I'm all wrapped here at the Detroit Auto Show. It was a lot of fun. My brain's kind of fried. I really need food or something. Mike's too busy taking selfies. <laughs> Just kidding, bud. Hey, Mike. What's up? You hungry? I'm always hungry. Same here. So, uh, so Mike and I are both kind of hungry. So we're going to go someplace really cool. Uh, if you're from Detroit, you probably know this place, or I hope you do. So it's not Slows, it's not Lafayette, it's Green Dot Stables. So good. Nom 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 nom. So I'm definitely about to work hard, play hard uh, lifestyle here. So there's a lot of times I work 10, 15 hour days. And while I try to make time to go to the gym, you have to enjoy all the good food that is offered here in Detroit, such as all of this. I swear I do more than just eat on photo shoots, I promise. But here's proof. <laughs> I'm downloading memory cards right now. So finally came home. This is Louie. This is my uh, roommate's cat. He's awesome. Hey, Louie. So Mike and I just got home. Uh, it was kind of a longer commute home from Detroit. What we're going to do now is I got to take care of all this equipment. So every job's different for me. I never know what I'm going to run into. So it's just assumed that I got to bring everything. But tomorrow, I am not bringing that much equipment with me. While Mike's organizing some gear, what I'm going to be doing right now is i got to back up this hard drive to two other hard drives. Reason being, uh, the drive could get corrupted, the images could have been actually deleted in the memory card, so the sooner I can get these backed up, I feel a little bit safer about it. Even though lately I haven't lost the images, the fact that they're backed up to three drives plus an off-site one, I know my images are safe. Also, semi-nerding out. Love, love, love this monitor. It's 34 inch, it's an LG. Awesome. So it was quite a long day. Uh, it's currently 7.28 p.m. I got up at 6 a.m. Uh, didn't really have much of a break, but this job is so cool. Photography allows me to travel and see interesting things. It's why I wanted to go down this career path, even though it's very non-traditional and there's a lot of uncertainty. Dream big. Seven years ago, never would have thought I could actually make a living doing photography, but I had to work hard at it. As you can see, I am not a starving artist. I'm going to sign off for the night. Just want to say thank you to Graham Valley and the alumni department for letting me do the first alumni Snapchat takeover. If anyone has any questions, I'm going to load my contact information on the next snap, so be sure to screenshot it. Reach out to me, follow me on Instagram, and thanks again.